What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. Man, when I tell you I wanted to talk about this so bad since last week, but I'm going to go ahead and get into it now. Oh, where do I start? Married to Medicine. It actually has been one of my favorite reality shows for years. And I've said this on a number of occasions when I've talked about it. And one of the reasons why I feel that way is because I feel like it is one of the most real reality shows when it comes to the drama and, you know, and the stuff like that. Anyway, we know on this season, you've got Dr. Gregory Lunsford, who used to be married to Quadria Webb. (laughs) And... Now he's remarried, but they are showcasing him with his new, at the time, fiance and soon to be bride on the show. And Quadria Webb has returned as well. It's already weird, but of course for us, it's entertaining because we are like literally watching what happens, right? But... What I don't like about it, even though I feel, in my personal opinion, I don't have any hate for Letitia Lunsford or how she likes to go by Sweet Tea. You know, how she chose to get with her man and all that other stuff. I talked about that before, how she slid up in his DMs. And I even talked about that before they aired that on the show. But it, it it's a little cringe to hear her talk about, you know, now that she was engaged, she can get a little closer to the money or whatever. Okay, fine. It's just a little cringe hearing her say that and the way she says it. And two, it's also a bit cringe for me because she looks like a mixture of Toya and Dr. Simone. She looks like Toya in the face and she looks like Dr. Simone in the mouth. <laughs> And I'm I'm not being shady, but we already know Dr. Simone, she has a bit of an overbite and a bit of a gummy appearance. And, you know, it, it is what it is. And so to see Letitia or Sweet Tea look like a combination of Toya and Dr. Simone, it just looks a little bit weird. But that it's not, this isn't about that. I just wanted to talk about that real quick. But anyway, it's just weird to see her on the show. And people can say, well, she came on this show and she knew what she was going to be dealing with because she knows these ladies are shady and she also wanted to be on the show. All of that could be true, but it's also like weird because she's on the show. I Listen, why is she talking to these ladies about any issues that she might be having with Dr. Greg? Because she should already know that at least some of them are going to go back to quad and tell her or maybe even to dr g like you don't know these people why are you talking to them you should be talking to your sister or the friends that you knew before you came on the show and if they didn't want to have scenes with you and your sister or your friends talking about that because even even if she just talked to them about that and it's you know filmed and they choose to show it on the show her husband is eventually going to see it but it would be better that than them showing her talking to these ladies that she didn't even know about any issues that she might be having with Dr. G. And then to see her having a conversation with any of them saying, you know, you know, Quad, she was right about him when it comes to this. And when that's like, girl, like, don't do that. What are you doing? Like, I am not here to hate against quad and dr g not being in a relationship anymore because that was one it was her choice she filed but two i'm not here to root against her relationship and her marriage with dr g either so don't come out on television talking about the negativities that's just one thing you don't do you shouldn't even do it on social media but definitely not on television oh my god Just let it be the messiness of them bringing Quad around and dealing with that dynamic, not you talking about any issues that you're having with Dr. G or whatever. That just was not a good look to me. But anyway, I'm just saying, whether it's true or not, don't, you don't, that, that's just something that you don't do. But two, them, this upcoming episode, we're going to see it, but they already showed the preview of them having a bachelorette party for her and then Phaedra with her messy butt 
inviting Quad and bringing Quad in there. Like, first and foremost, I would think, why would Quad even want to be there? Why would she want to be there? She shouldn't even show herself up. So to see her showing up and then to see Sweet Tea's facial expression when Quad walks in the room. I mean, of course, this makes for good TV. So I'll, listen, I'm, I get that part. But just on the real aspect, because again, like I said, this is supposed to be, and it was, one of the realest shows. So to see Phaedra with her messy butt being as messy as she was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I mean, nothing has changed with her about that. And ironically, early this morning, I saw a little clip from the reunion when she had accused Candy of the things that she had accused Candy of and and just see Andy confront her about it and he was like you know you you just seem pretty like you just don't let anything phase you and just never let anyone see you sweat but I haven't really seen you apologize about anything and then Phaedra said well the person that I'm most concerned about is Portia <laughs> I was you know it just reminded me of who she is and yeah some people love her for television and she says the little things that and little quips that could be entertaining and funny and shady and whatever but ultimately this woman is cold-blooded and cold-hearted I don't even believe that she was in a real relationship with a doctor and to show her in these pictures with some man with a cartoon head and posed over the person that she's supposedly in a relationship with. And then now in real time, she's saying that she's not even in a relationship with that person anymore that we never even got to see. And she's dating another doctor now. Like, where are these people? Where are they? I just, I just can't when it comes to her. But to see the facial expression of Sweet Tea, I was like, oh, Lord. Like, girl, I don't think you really knew what you were in for when you took the offer to come on the show days before the wedding you're gonna say out loud that you don't think they should be getting married it's messy as hell let's go Okay, you gotta stop. I'm sorry, Eugene. That must have been a little bit better. Okay, good. You alright? Yeah. I said the dog. Yes, ma'am. I need a dog. What are you doing? Anybody want a penis? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> you look absolutely fabulous. Thank you, Randy. Phaedra escorting Quad into the suite where they were having the bachelorette party. You know, I'm just like, why would she even want to be there? And and Heavenly knew that she was coming. That's why she had that little evil giggle that she um <laughs> that she does. But I mean, I get it. She's doing the job that she was told to do, but I'm just not I'm sorry. I'm just not here. Um, I'm just not here for that. But again, Sweet Tea decided to be on the show with Dr. G. I mean, they were offered and I mean, obviously they were offered it and they accepted. But again, I, I still don't even know like why Quad would want to go to the bachelorette party of the woman that's going to be marrying her ex-husband that she did not know, did not have a relationship. It wasn't like she had already met this woman and they were on good terms. So it was just weird, you know? You know, people can change, people can evolve. But, you know, it's funny because in the first season, the women, they didn't really care for Quad. They thought she was low class. Mariah really 
put her on and gave her opportunities. So it's just really weird to me now when I see people like putting her on a pedestal where, again, like I'm saying, I'm not saying people can't change and evolve, but let's just be real. Quad still being on the show is weird. But yes, also Sweet Tea, Letitia, and, you know, her now has been Dr. G being on the show now too is kind of weird, but more understandable in my opinion because he is a doctor and she is literally now married to medicine. Quad isn't anymore. She was. I mean, if they want to create something still for her or just continue to try to find someplace for her like they've done for Phaedra because they just like her that much, okay, I guess. But yeah, and still... They could still, I guess, be filming the show together, but it doesn't mean that Quad should be at this event because I don't think she went to the wedding. So why would she go to the bachelorette party? So honestly, for me, this was a bit weird because when I did hear about Dr. G and his new wife getting married and they were filming it for the show and I heard that Quad wasn't there, I was like, oh, okay. And at that time, I was thinking, well, you know, maybe they're not bringing Quad back. So to see that she showed up to the bachelorette party, but she didn't go to the wedding, you were definitely being messy because honestly, she didn't even know her yet, you know? But you met her at the bachelorette party, but you didn't go to the wedding. Yeah, obviously she wasn't invited to the wedding, but... I'm sure that Letitia did not invite her to the bachelorette party either, even though this was thrown for her. If this was thrown for her and this was about her, then they shouldn't have had Quad there. My personal opinion. But you guys can let me know your thoughts respectfully in the comments section below. Guys, thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.